Welcome back, people. We've got some more fishing planet for you guys here again today. So, you've got to be level 18 to get into Florida, Everglaze. And I've just hit level 19. The reason why I didn't go there when I was 18 is because <laughs> I didn't have enough cash. Yep, that's the truth of it. But anyway, now I do have enough cash. So, this is Fishing Planet on iOS. I am playing on an iPhone 12 Pro for anybody who is interested. Oh no. <sighs> no, that's not good. Okay, how much is that one to repair? 345. Oh. See, I need to, I do need to repair it, don't I? <sighs> okay, let's repair that. Um, I don't think, okay. Doesn't look like it did repair it, but anyway. Uh, how much is that one? It's 165. Okay, let's go to cancel. All right, so to get into Florida Everglades, which is here, it's seven and a half thousand. And then we have to buy a license, the advanced license. That's 4,000. And then it's seven and a half thousand. So I'm gonna be left pretty much with absolutely nothing. <laughs> but I know when I get in there, I can make some serious, serious money. So yeah, it's not it's not all bad. All right, so get some more of those small minnows. So how many small minnows do we have now? Let's have a quick look. Uh, we've got 42. We've got red worms and stuff. I don't think I've got enough storage to move them over. No, that's such a shame. Yeah, I don't. Um, equip, remove, yeah, I don't, <laughs> oh well, anyway, Everglaze, let's make our way there, let's travel, so anytime I do live streams, I'll always use a face cam and mic for videos, I just randomly hit record, that's how we get those good video clips, I play on PC on max level, on PC on Steam, and I play on PS4, and I'm max level on there, so I decided to come onto here, onto iOS and give it a good go. So over on the far right there, we can catch ourselves some snook, some bass, um, some tarpon, red drum. Uh, here we can get some long-nosed gar and bass. And here we can get this one. Oh, this one here, which is where we're gonna be fishing. Here we can get ourselves a lot of the butterfly peacock bass. Down here we can get some butterfly peacock bass, long gut, long nose gar, and the largemouth bass. You can also get long nose gar here. So we're gonna go fishing. We are fishing in a random room. Now this is the first time of me being in an Everglades after quite some time, because obviously I haven't haven't been on here because when you're max level you always go in the highest lakes. So 1,000 cash back, which is really good. Needed it. This just looks absolutely amazing. Look at that. We're on iOS. Look at <laughs> look how beautiful that looks. Yeah, it looks really, really good. All right, so there's a few places we can cast. We can get some gar over here, some butterfly peacock bass, and uh, we can also get them over this way. I would love to have a spinning rod right now, but unfortunately, we do not have one. So I'm going to get set up. I'm going to just go like that quite close in now i do remember the last time i did actually play um in here in florida in everglades it's kind of like getting your line and rod set up and putting on an old welly boot and when i mean old welly boot i'm talking for uh for the bait these things yeah they do they do pretty much bite on quite a lot of stuff to be fair especially the lure if you've got a lure, uh, then, uh, yeah, you can definitely catch some some butterfly peacock bass at quite a, a fast, insane rate. I'm not sure how much it's going to cost me for each day here. But the other struggle as well, I did want to, when I come into this lake, I wanted to buy a new rod. Uh, I don't know where my line is. Oh, okay, I think it was set there, so maybe I could have... Could have left it a little bit longer and we would have been all right. <laughs> oh, well. There we go. So, yeah, playing it on iOS to PC, obviously, there's a big difference. And, of course, from the console, there's a big difference. 
But you know what? I got the hang of this pretty quick, if I'm honest. So obviously down on the right, that's all the controls for our reel, uh, the strength of the of the reel and reel speed. And then over on the far left, you can see there's a round circle with a the hand there with the index finger pointing up. That's how we reel in. The little small round circle below that, um, that is auto reel, which is absolutely great. Hopefully one day they bring auto reel onto, onto PS4 and onto, onto PC on Steam. That would be absolutely awesome if they did. <laughs> anyway, first fish on. I'm not quite sure how well this rod's going to stand up, but I will show you my rod setup as well. So don't worry about that. Um, I think this rod is capable because I have landed a 20-odd pound fish with this, with this uh, Creek Pro rod. But the thing is, when you're fighting bass, bass are quite strong fighting fish. So... Even if I don't catch a, a very big one, it's still going to give quite a good fight. This one's fighting quite well already. I have no idea of the size of it. I, at this point, I can't even guess. But we'll see. I don't mind if I get largemouth bass, and I don't mind if I get butterfly. Or I don't even mind if I get some Florida gar. That's good as well. So that was <laughs> four pounds Florida gar, first, first fish. Uh, 211 cash, that's not too bad. Now, remember, I've got a barbless hook on, so that's why I got that little bit more XP. And I've also now got premium, so again, that's another reason why we got that little bit more cash as well as XP. So you might not get as much yourself if you're not, if you don't have premium or the barbless hook. Now, if you're using a barbless hook, it doesn't really matter. Uh, well, I, I say it doesn't really matter. It does matter. Obviously, premium is going to help you get there quicker. But if you don't have money to buy premium, using a barbless hook is better than not using one because, yeah, you get that little bit more XP. So as, we, as we've progressed through on Fish and Planet on iOS, I've shown the beginner's guide. We've done Lone Star Lake. We've done Mud Water. We've done Falcom Lake, we've done Rocky Lake, we've done Niren River, um, we've done Emerald Lake, and yeah, we've done pretty much every lake so far that opens up for the low levels. But here, I'm going to be fishing here, once I get to level 22, I then will unlock somewhere else to fish. But I'm not too bothered about fishing anywhere else at the moment, because I know in this place... This place made me rich when I was when I first played it on PC, you know, over six years ago now, <laughs> and uh, as well as PS4 as well. When I started again from the very, when I started from the very beginning, Florida Everglades. This place right here, I stood here for a long time. Had one bait rod out, got a spinning rod, kept doing a bit of spinning, casting over that way, and. Uh, yeah, it's a it's a good cash grind and good XP grind. So there we go, three hundred and twenty seven cash. That's pretty decent. Ninety two XP gained, butterfly peacock bass. So that's what I'm going for more than anything else. The butterfly peacock because they they give me good cash, especially. If I can get a trophy or even a unique. Now, if I get a unique, of course, I'm not going to be able to keep it because my net isn't big enough. So I'd only gain XP. If you ever catch a fish and it's too big for your net, you'll only get the XP. You will not get the cash and you'll have no choice to release it, which is a little bit of a pain. But uh, it's not the end of the world because at some point you will be able to buy a bigger net. Now, when I get some more cash... I think that's probably going to be the first thing I do is buy a bigger net. And then after that, I will think about buying a spinning rod because I could use this bait rod. I definitely could use this bait rod in here for for permanent. Like, yeah, I could definitely <laughs> I could definitely get away with catching. Apart from the red drum, I probably wouldn't be able to reel in red drum on this nor tarpon. But for the largemouth bass, the, the gar, and for the butterfly peacock, I definitely could 
I could definitely uh, yeah, use this bait rod, then use the spinning rod as well. So whilst I got the bait rod out, I could mess around with the spinning rod. And if I zoom in, does it let me zoom in? Okay, it's not letting me zoom in, and that probably is because I am reeling. So let me stop the reeling for a sec. So there, there is another dock there. That's normally where I would cast. If I'm using a spinning rod, that's where I'd cast to. And of course, over here as well, casting 100 foot towards that biggest tree there, right in front of me, as you see. Casting there, 99 foot, 100 foot. There's That's where I've had quite a few unique, in the past, I've had quite a few unique butterfly, peacock. But as I said, I'm not going to bother to cast over this way so much because I know I'm going to get those bigger fish. And as well as that, we're going to get bigger long nose gar. And for the fact that I can't actually reel them in, there's not... Well, I could reel them in. It's going to take some, some time, definitely. But for the fact that I wouldn't be able to keep it in my net, that's the most important thing. Because I can't keep it. It's not really much point. Because it's not... It's not really XP that I need now because I'm because now I'm in here. Obviously, I need XP to level up, but I mean, because I'm now in this place, I'm happy to stay in here for a while. But for me to stay in here for a while, I'm going to need some serious cash because when I come out of here, it's going to cost me seven and a half thousand to come back. So, yeah, seven and a half thousand. Then I paid four thousand for the license, which will last me 24 hours. That's in real time. So that's a good amount of time that the license lasts, but overall, <laughs> um, yeah, it's a little bit expensive. Eleven and a half thousand pounds to get to this place, and of course you've got to buy baits and stuff, and uh, your gear's going to need to be repaired and things as well. So that's what I'm probably going to do is I'm going to stay here until I've used all of those small minnows up. So I've got 41 of them. And then once I use those up, I will probably back out, buy a new net, bigger net, and come back here with more minnows and keep fishing it out so I can eventually try and get a spinning rod. It's definitely going to be a short minute though before I do. And it looks like this one is taking a, a short minute as well. So I will show you the rod setup. I will go into the menu. This is obviously quite a beginner's rod, this one. Now, if you had a better rod than this, you're just going to make your process that little bit quicker of reeling it in. It's not going to be as much of, of a fight to get it in, and it's going to be that little bit easier. So that's another reason why I want to get a spinning rod, is so I don't have to keep buying bait. And so that way... I can hopefully try and reel it in a little bit quicker than what I am here. So we're on day one as well. Always try and fish peak times. Like I've said before, peak times is quite important. I know most of you probably know it that are already subscribed, but I have to mention it for, for those new ones just in case they, they don't know. Like buying a license... <laughs> people come into a lake for the first time they don't realize they've got to buy a license so then they go fishing even though it tells them about a license and they just choose to ignore it and then they get a, a hefty fine for, for catching one of the fish which to be honest i think i did do once a very long time ago <laughs> but i did do it once myself so that's how I know that at least one other person's done it. If I've done it at least once, surely somebody else has done it at least once. I've already got quite a bit in my net though, haven't I? So we've got nearly seven and a half pound in the net. And I've got 26.5 pound, the maximum amount of weight, and 5.5 pound in weight. The thing is, this is my biggest thing, I've got to make sure that I earn enough money today to stay to fish for the next day because you've got to pay to get here then you've got to pay for a license and then you've got to pay to fish each day so I don't know how much it is to fish each day but we are going to jump forward and obviously find out how much that is going to actually cost us <clears throat> but we've got to make sure that we've got enough to cover us for the next day otherwise 
we would have came here and then we would end up getting kicked out of here and we wouldn't be able to fish and we'll have to go back to another low level lake and fish there but my plan is to stay here so we're gonna have to fill that net we'll see how much we can get cool this one is i'm interested to see how big this fish is i definitely am this one has got crazy fight to it i don't know if it's a long nose gar again or whether it's uh whether it's a bass i can't quite see it's got some fight to it i give it that okay i think it's a gar yeah those guard do fight well. So 714 cash I missed out on there. A 14 pound. Because it's too big, I'm not able to keep it. So that's a little bit of a little bit of a shame, but it is what it is. Oh, cancel. We did that wrong. There we go. Yeah, those guards are a little bit of a pain. They take a short minute to reel in. And I'm not able to keep all of them, so really, I definitely need the... And not just that, actually, thinking about it, the Butterfly Peacock Bass. It does actually give you more cash than the Florida Gar, so... I definitely need to, need to get some more of those bass. So, at the bottom, again, I've mentioned it before, but just in case you're new to iOS... On the bottom, in the middle of the screen, we have our leader and our line. Uh, the line is 91 durability. Next to the line on the right is the leader. And then going to the middle, 89%, that is the rod moving over to the left. As you can see, the reel at the bottom of the screen, that's 89%. Never let those get too low in damage. If they get too low in damage and they end up breaking, you will not be able to repair them. If they're worn down, you can repair them, but if they're actually broken, you can't. Personally, myself, I don't really let it go below anything about 20%, but you could always run it to about 10 or 15, but I would be careful though. I've got this set out as max drag as well, which is uh, basically, I'm pushing it to the limit, but it's not gonna snap at all. By doing that, uh, just, puts that little bit more tension on the fish we do have a playlist of just fishing planet if you don't understand max drag you could look through look through our playlist and i'm very sure you will find there's more than one video that i've made on max drag i've done quite a few videos on max drag because not many people understand it but after playing for six years am i glad that i learned max drag definitely now <laughs> even more so that i'm on I'm on iOS, yeah, max drag really does help, especially when you're this low of a level. You can get the right reel to go with the right rod, the right line. You can max drag it, and then that way, you get to reel in that fish that little bit quicker. I'm guessing this one is a gar again, because it's really, look at the picture quality. It looks so, so good. That looks so good. Yeah, Florida Gar. I thought it was because it was fighting quite well. So that one is five pound. So well, just under five pounds. So we're able to keep that one. Oh, that was a little bit of an overcast. Do you know what? Even that though, that would probably work. I'm not even joking. It is a pretty quick pace of fishing here. And as well as a quick pace of fishing, we catch different fish. So that's good. Now, I've only got the one uh, hash one -ot hook on the barbless. I think I am definitely going to, well, not think, I am definitely going to crank that up and put on a two watt. I'm not going to bother to go with the three because I will catch even bigger fish. And again, at the moment, there's not really much point in me catching bigger fish. It's all I'm going to do is level up. Whereas if I need the cash at the moment, not so much the XP, it's the cash I need. But the one handy thing is, though, obviously every time you do level up, you do get 1,500 cash. And that's how I managed to get into here, obviously, because I hit level 19. I'm able to have 1,500 cash plus the cash that I had. And that allowed me to get into this place. So that's, that's pretty handy. 
So after I reel this one in, I'm going to show you the rod setup real quick of exactly what we're using, just in case you want to use the same rod yourself. If you can get a better rod, then I would probably recommend it. But it is doable with this one, as you can see. It definitely is doable. It just takes that little bit, little bit longer, that's all. I really am impressed of the picture quality, though. They did do a, a, a graphics update on the PC and PS4 and it changed the game completely. And looking at it on iOS, wow, yeah, it looks very, very clean and crisp. Looks really good. Game's been running really smooth. Um, the only game bug that I've really ran into is I set a marker and the marker doesn't always show up. But then if I close the, the app off, come back onto it, and then the marker is there other than that it's been running pretty decent oh okay this one is bass this one's a butterfly i saw it i saw it's yellow and it's fighting pretty decent so that's good we should get some cash here some good cash come on cool wow it's really trying to run on that last little bit I got it real close, so then it sees me and it turns around and it's, I'm out of here. <laughs> yeah, that's proper. Trying to run now. I'm going to guess this one. This one's going to be four and a half pound. I'm guessing. We'll see. It's definitely got some good fight to it. I'll give it that. It's kind of fighting like a gar in a way, how strong it was. Wow, it's not four and a half. It is nearly four though. But look at look at the XP, 110. But the cash is awesome. Look at that. For just under a four pound fish, we got just under 400 cash. That's pretty decent. That's good going. All right, so if we press on the top left, there's the arrow pointing to the left. If we press that, it brings us to here. And then we can press inventory. And then this is what we have here in our fish net. So we've got two, four, eight, nine, ten, eleven, about one thousand something there. So I think it's around about two and a half thousand a day to go to fish each day. I think I can't really don't remember. But anyway, there's my rod set up. That's exactly how I have my rod. So if you want to copy whatever I'm using by all means, do go ahead and do that. I reckon, I reckon I probably have got enough to jump to the next day, but I wanna, I wanna keep fishing because otherwise, if I do mess it up and I can't fish the next day because I don't have enough cash, I'll be kicked out of this place. And I don't fancy going back to, to Lone Star Lake just, just yet. <laughs> So we need to we need to catch a little bit more. Hopefully, uh, do you know what? In fact, is what we do is um, I'm going to keep fishing, and then for the next video, I'm going to be back here in Everglades again, and uh, we're going to do a proper cash grind. And I'm going to I'm going to show you we're going to get a bigger net. I'm going to buy a bigger net. Well, I fish for a little bit, earn some money, buy a bigger net, and then I come back and make another video. Then we do a little bit of a cash grind to see how much money we can earn in that one day with a bigger net, hopefully. What's that, a normal bass or oh, catfish? Oh, no, it ain't brown bullet. First time I've had one of those, as you can see. So if you've got any comments, do leave it in the comments section below. Florida Everglades, there's many, many hot spots around in this place a hot spot is where you're catching fish either very big or at a very fast pace or both <laughs> and here this spot you definitely catch fish pretty fast but there is lots of different places you can fish in this place and they are really good hot spots so do explore and look around a little bit maybe we might at some point catch some drumming here or or some tarpon or something like that i'm not sure um but yeah, smack that like button. If you're still enjoying Fishing Planet, keep an eye out for the next video coming very soon. So, so soon. And make sure that notification bell is hit so you don't miss out on that next one. This is iOS Fishing Planet. We catch you people again soon for some more fun and games. I am out.
They got some interest. Hold on. Wait for it. Okay, no. Don't wait for it. I'm out. 